Hello, my name is Zuar Jeladze, and today I'll be talking about ARM Cortex N55. So now let's begin. Mm. The ARM Cortex N55 processor brings the benefits of the endpoints uh, artificial intelligence to billions more devices and empowers developers to deliver the next revolution in computing. It is uh, ARM's most uh, AI-capable Cortex-M uh, processor and the first to feature ARM Helium Vector Processing Technology, uh, bringing enhanced power-efficient uh, DSP, uh, Digital Signal, signal Processing, uh, and uh, Machine Learning Performance. Uh, Cortex A55 offers an easy way to implement AI for a wide range of uh, IoT use cases with the ease of use of Cortex M, a single tool chain, optimized software libraries, and an industry leading MD ecosystem. So now I want to talk about the benefits of the Cortex A55. So first, as I mentioned before, uh, enhanced endpoint AI performance. The, the Cortex M55 is the first processor based on ARM Helium technology with the highest, most efficient machine learning and digital signal process performance for Cortex M. The second benefit will be the flexibility to differentiate. ARM uh, custom uh, instruction extends the processor's uh, capabilities for workload and specific optimization. Uh, also, the fastest time to market, uh, the Corestone 300 reference design offers the fastest, most secure way to incorporate the Cortex M55 into SOC. Uh, and the last benefit will be the simplified the software development uh, integrated into a single developer tool chain supported by a broad ecosystem of software, tools, libraries, and resources. So I want to highlight uh, the AERM um, Helium technology. So now let's talk about it. Helium is a new vector instruction set instructions in the ARM uh, 8.1M architecture that enables a significant uplift uh, in uh, digital signal processing and machine learning capabilities, as I mentioned before. Uh, the vector processing station adds over 150 new scalar and vector instructions, enabling the efficient compute of 8 bit, 16 bit, and 32 bit bit fixed point data. 16-bit uh, and 32-bit fixed point uh, formats are used in traditional signal processing applications such as audio processing. Uh, the 8-bit fixed point format can be uh, important to machine learning processing. Uh, Helium vector processing technology allows arithmetic uh, optimization to occur simultaneously, improving uh, throughput and uh, maximizing the use of pro processors' resources. As an example, the table below, with, mm, which shows us uh, the throughput per cycle uh, that can be achieved when executing a multiply uh, a cumulative operation. So the floating uh, point unit, uh, the Cortex M55 floating point unit natively supports vector and scalar uh, half uh, precision and uh, single precision floating point data types. And, uh, additionally, the APU provides native support for a scalar double precision floating point calculations. The half precision floating point uh, processes twice the amount of uh, data per uh, clock cycle when compared to using single precision floats, uh, reduce, uh, reducing the memory footprint of data storage. Uh, this is ideal for applications with sound and sensor data processing, where the resolution of the data is low, but still needs high dynamic range. 
So now we talk about ARM Cortex M55 security. Uh, ARM uh, trust zone technology is supported uh, in the Cortex M55 processor, uh, reducing the potential for software based attacks by isolating the critical information from the rest of the application. Uh, ARM uh, V8.1M uh, uh, introduces several security enhancements, including a new memory protection unit, MPU, uh, region attribute called uh, privilege execute never, the unprivileged debug extension, and some additional trans zone enhancements that offer isolated debug permissions of different software components in each security domain of the processor. Mm, all these uh, features enhance security and accelerate the route uh, to PSA certified silicon and devices. So ARM uh, custom instructions will enable designers to push the performance and efficiency of the processors further by adding application domain specific features while uh, maintaining, uh, ma maintaining all the advantages of ARM's software system. Uh, they allow developers to add a customizable modu module inside of Cortex M55 processor. Uh, this module is driven by the pre-decoded uh, instructions and share the same interface as the standard arithmetic book unit known as ALU of the processor. Mm. Now let's talk about uh, ARM uh, Cortex M55 coprocessors interface. Uh, the core coprocessors interface opens the door for uh, customizable and accessibility to uh, extensibility to further decrease the power consumption of the system in the uh, presence of frequent compute intensive operations. Uh, even though this feature is not new to Cortex-M, uh, it is an important feature that allows system on chip designers to create closely coupled hardware accelerators to speed up range of processing functions. Uh, now let's talk about debugging feature enhancement. Uh, the Cortex M55 processor features a new uh, debug enhancements, including the performance monitoring unit, MPU, with eight and 16-bit event counters. Uh, sorry, eight 16-bit uh, event counters. Uh, direct cache access registers that allow uh, the cache states to be accessed and the unprivileged debugging extension, UDE, uh, that restricts debug, uh, debug visibility to a specific software partition. The Cortex-M55 processor improves the efficiency of AI development on endpoint devices. Developers can take advantage of the ease of use uh, of Cortex-M a single tool chain optimized software libraries and frameworks such as TensorFlow, Micro, and an industry leading MDIT ecosystem. Uh, all, are, all are supported by an excess, extensive knowledge base and set of resources to make software development for the Cortex uh, M55 processing processor as fast as possible. And in the last, I want to talk about use cases of Cortex M55. So, where are they used and what for? And uh, here I have six cases uh, where uh, Cortex M55 will be really efficient and really good choice. So, first is earbuds, uh, fingerprint unlock, health trackers, uh, predictive maintenance. Uh, smart speakers and uh, video doorbell. Uh, this is it. Uh, thank you for listening. Goodbye.